I grew up in South Chicago, uh, right sort of on the border between uh, West Englewood and Ashburn. And uh, there was a lot of jazz in that neighborhood and stuff like that. I didn't have any friends that had music lessons um, or anything like that. So uh, it was definitely a recreational thing. Years ago, I did an album called Pale Blue Dot. And um, it was uh, after rereading the book by Carl Sagan. Uh, and it just sort of inspired me to write music. Most space music you hear, you know, on Discovery Channel or something, it's always very positive and always very, like, orchestral and and I never felt space to be that way. Like, you know, I feel like if I were to go to space I would be terrified, you know, and um, and uh, there's so much that I, I'm not sure if that fear comes from there's so many things we still don't know. That sort of manifests itself into, into fear, so it's very ethereal and emotional to me. When I read the script of Cosmic Wonder and when I came in here and saw the preview of it, my first thing was like, well, how do you actually write music for something that's this diverse? One thing that sort of put me in a certain direction is there's still a historical element to the show and it sort of explains how we know what we know. So I sort of started actually, it was funny telling people that I was starting from an early Christian, I was going to go with early Christian themed melodies. Um, and people being like, you're writing Christian music? And I'm like, no, no, like Talis and Bach and, you know. But, um, so that, that was sort of the groundwork for the whole thing. And then, you know, and then whatever I naturally wanted to do outside of that with space, that sort of uh, filled in the blanks. And so it was sort of a mixture between, yeah, <laughs> ethereal ambient and Bach and Talis, I guess. It's important to me, I think that people should have an emotional connection to it in some way. From what I know, this is the best display in the world there's nothing better. I find it more fascinating to watch this screen than I do to see Pink Floyd play live, which was amazing, which I, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about. So to me, it's a dream come true. It's the coolest thing in the world. Um, and I cannot compare anything to it. And it's probably the only show where I actually say like, you know, if you can find a cheap flight, you might want to fly in for this. Not for me, but for the screen and for the experience.